Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we're going to be playing Battlefield 5. We're going to be going through the single player campaign by the looks of things. It's not very long, there's one, two, there's five missions that can't be right. If this is right, like, and we don't unlock any more missions after this, this campaign is a uh, very, very short. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but we might unlock some more stuff, so let's do it. Let's get straight into it. My country calling an introduction to Battlefield 5. That's it, an introduction. Let's play the game. Hardcore. Let's just play it on medium. Let's just enjoy this. Now I do really like first person shooter games, but I've never played them in a long time because I feel that the genre got a bit stale. So let's hopefully this, this freshen things up a bit. Great War ended with a deafening silence. The world moved on. And in the silence we forgot. This is London. You will now hear a statement by the Prime Minister. I am speaking to you from the Cabinet Room at 10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note. I have to tell you now, this country is at war with Germany. My father asked me if I was truly ready to go to war. He told me that the good soldier kills without thinking of his enemy as a human being. In the moment he sees him as a fellow man, He's no longer a good soldier, and I was a good soldier. God help me. Within each of us lie the seeds of an undefined greatness. We are the fathers of our own future. That future must be chosen, nurtured, guided. It must be driven with conviction. Lest our lesser nature has let it stray into shadow. The war would thoroughly explore man's potential, finest moments, darkest hours. Summits of courage. Depths of hatred, hope, endurance, atrocity and death. Norway 1940, yeah? Night raid over Norvik Dock. Oh, so we're parachuting in, are we? Look at the, look at the glisten on the snow. That's lush. Right, let's do it. Let's pop some heads. Oh, you son of a bitch. I did all the fucking shots. Oh, yeah, go on, pop the beano. Mate, don't run across the bloody battlefield, you get shot in the back. What other guns can we have? We've got a revolver. Oh, let's try this, let's try this revolver out. This looks awesome. 
I think I lie down. Right, right, okay. Oh, call me Red Dead. Hey, it's pretty powerful, this. Got him. Hey, your teammates are actually doing something. That's a change. Let's get a different gun. Can't pick up other guns, can you not? Okay. Oh, I've got an MP40. Nice. It's a tank. We've got a tank. <laughs> we fought everywhere. In every condition though. Using weapons we had never dreamed of. But death is death, no matter where you are. And suffering is the same in every language. Libya. I think it's giving us an introduction of where the wars took place. I'm driving a tank, lads. Hey, it gets you straight stuck in what we're shooting in. Final breakthrough at to Tobruk. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, shit. Nah, 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 nah. Direct hit. Direct hit. Oh, I'm a beast with this. Who's destroying us? Say yeah. Oh my god, he done a backflip. I just do a backflip. Say yeah. Gas canisters, where are they? Direct hit. Oh, yes, we're completely demolished that face. Who else? Oh, fuck, I'm getting destroyed. I can't even see what's going on. There's, 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 a, there's like a tank right in front of us, but I couldn't dig it. There's smoke. <laughs> it didn't last too long there. We are the worst tank drivers ever. Technology moved faster than you could think how to use it. Yours, theirs, it didn't matter. This war would prove that from ocean bed to mountain top, the greatest killing machine is man. Tunisia. Kazarine Pass. Behind enemy la we're a sniper lads. This is what I'm all this is what I'm talking about. This is what I like doing in games. And we've got a spotter. Two and one. I didn't reload. Shit. Right in the back of the neck. Go on, reload, baby. How we've got things to kill. Where the reinforcements are. What the hell? The fucking plane? Oh! I 
think the message brought death home. It wasn't just about the soldiers on the front. This time, the crosshairs found the workers on the assembly line. They found the commuters on the train. And they found the children in the schools. Now we're in a bloody bomber. I think it's trying to get the message across that just everybody dies. What the hell? Who designed the... Hold on, who designed these plane controls? Are they for real? They've got... They've got up and down on the right analog stick. Um, No thanks. Everything should be done from the left left analog. Gamepad schemes. Pilot sticks. That was... That's right. Roll left, roll right, pitch up and pitch down. Southpaw. I don't think that's Southpaw. I think that's pretty much worldwide standard for default. There, that's better. Oh, look at this. This looks incredible. Hamburg. Oh, we've got enemies. Brap. Oh, I've destroyed it. Whoa, pro a dog fight. Dead. Right, who's next? I don't even know who the enemy is. There's, there's so much friendly fire going on, it's ridiculous. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. For this group. Does anyone know what we're supposed to be shooting here? I'm just shooting anything that's in me. Oh, there we go. They're all dying. Oh man, I want to get some kills. What's going on here? I just can't catch up. It's dead. Why does the why does the I didn't even know what I'm I'm not chasing the green one. Oh fuck I'm dead. Airmen, infantry, volunteers, conscripts, them and us. It didn't matter where the danger came from. The threat of death unified everyone. Nijmen Bridge. This is more like it. I play first person shoot as to like first person shoot, not a fly plane. It's a bit dog shit really. Right, let's go. Return to the combat Return to the combat area. I'm in the fucking combat area. What a load of shit this is. Where's the enemies? Oh, give us this. Give us this. Say hello. Hey, man. Who? Fucking get off. Get off the gun, man. I want to play the game. This guy. Fuck off, man. Will you get off the fucking gun? Right, there we go. What am I killing?
See if it. If he had got off the gun, I would have had all of these dead already. Well, am I supposed to be able to see something? <laughs> what is this game? What even is this game? <laughs> what do it? Can I like shoot some things, please? Now I've all now it is. I, I'll wait like what scene finishes. What led it back to us? Am I not? Am I not finished? Does a hidden hand guide? Birthing us in violence and blood. Ending us in fear. Alone. We in last stand. Until you've pulled the trigger on an enemy, you're not ready for war. You can't handle the truth. Dead. You're only ready to die. Not gonna say what day Call of Duty did it first, like. I don't know, I'm more of a Call of Duty man than a Battlefield man. I think that. Well, I remember playing the first Battlefield and it was so slow and cumbersome. It was an absolute travesty to, to control and play. This feels really good. In between one and the other. Between first and last. Always searching. Sometimes finding. Brothers. Sons and daughters. Mothers and fathers. We have no world without them. Oh there my no god. World. This isn't a way to start a first person shooter. This is a way to end it. Like, keep your moral, like the moral of the story, at the end of the game. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to blow things up and shoot things. You don't think people play first person shooters to get a fucking moral lecture? On, like, the merits of mankind and not killing people? Oh, fuck me. Come on, man. Just want to shoot people? Battlefield 5, you're getting off to a bad start, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, as I was saying. But the original Battlefield it was just so bad and cumbersome. Yeah, it had blown walls up and stuff, but it didn't even add to the game. It was actually terrible. Call of Duty's always had the the controls and mechanics on point. This game feels really good. It feels nice and fast paced. It feels like Call of Duty, if I'm honest, and that's not a bad thing. It Battlefield should have felt like Call of Duty and then added its own stuff on top. But uh, I don't know what's going on here. So is that the first mission? Or is that just the intro? I think it was just the intro. That's probably why it didn't give you a chance to actually play the game. Yeah it was, it was the intro. Right okay so that's just the intro. Fair enough I'm going to let it off and not let me actually play the game. This looks like the first mission. Under no flag. Let's do it. Actually no we'll not. No we'll not, I'll separate it. I'll make that into a separate video. Um, so we've got each mission documented. Right lads, um, I'll see you in the next one for the first proper mission I imagine under no flag.